Hi everyone, it's Crystal and I'm an independent Sensi consultant. So today's video is kind of a, I guess, a combination video. So it's going to be my end of the month of July Sensi empties, but I've been going through the bring back my bars because I had bought the whole set and I've been going through them basically June and July. So I decided to just kind of combine the videos. I know I'm late on the bring back my bars. They're no longer available. Uh, they were available for the month of June. You could have put them in your club if you'd like, but they're empties, almost all. And I figured I might as well just kind of combine the two videos and just talk about everything. So we'll just see how it goes. So uh, first thing I'm going to mention is um, like the non bring back my bar stuff, just to kind of get out of the way. Um, one second. Okay, so sorry. Um, the first thing I want to mention, hang on. Aha. All right, so the first thing I used up is my pods in Blue Grotto. I have the two of them here. They still faintly, faintly smell, but I tried it in my Sensi Go. Usually I have them in my Sensi, what's it called? The wall fan diffuser, the mini wall fan diffuser. Uh, in my entranceway and then once I can't smell it in the entranceway I usually bring it into my room and I pop them in my Scentsy Go and I use them there but there was nothing coming out of them anymore like I really used them up so there's the packaging there's the two pods I use smelt great really strong lasted because I always start with one pod um, and they usually go about a week for me um, and then once um, it's very faint I pop the second one in and then I let that go and then yeah, that's when I usually bring them to my Scentsy Go and try them there. Sometimes I have some luck in them, sometimes I don't. So there's uh, the Blue Grotto Pods. Highly recommend them. Really like them. Another uh, item. These two are new to me. Um, Fiji Flower and Vanilla Bourbon. Uh, Fiji Flower is just a nice floral. Um, I think they came out with it in the laundry line, like a limited edition when they released this. I could see it being a really good laundry scent. Um, I had put it basically in on my main floor, kitchen, living room area, my kids room kind of thing. And um, everyone liked it. Nobody complained. It just smelled like perfect for summer. It, it has that light floral. I almost feel like there's some kind of aquatic note in it. It's just really nice. I'm not too big on the flower scents unless it's like a, a fruity floral kind of thing. There's some sweetness to it, but this was nice. Uh, Fiji flower. I mean, if I put any of these or the bring back my bars in my club, I'll let you know. But um, Fiji flower went through the entire bar. Really liked it. Um, it was great, but it wasn't like a, a love where I put it in my club or anything, but that's, it was good. Next is the vanilla bourbon, which um, if you've watched my videos before, you know I love bakery and then the, the fruity sweet scents are like my second favorite. And vanilla bourbon, I feel like kind of reminded me of gingerbread donut. Uh, I feel like it's a nice fall scent. This came out with the uh, Father's Day set and um, I was hoping that this would make it into the fall winter catalog. It didn't. But it's really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. I put it all over my house. It made me think fall. I, I feel like this is more of a fall scent, but I, I throw fall scents in here and there, and I really like it. I think I put it in my club. I'll have to double check, but vanilla bourbon, I really, really enjoyed this one. Let me know if you found it gave off like a, um, not a gingerbread vibe, but maybe slight. Anyways, I really enjoyed it. Right up my alley, that one. And the last thing that is not bring back my bar that I got through, shockingly, is salted caramel toffee, a brick. So um, I believe I was about halfway through, but yeah, um, this is really good. I really enjoy salted caramel, like, you know, to, to eat in, in chocolates and whatnot. Um, you can get um, in your coffees, you can get like the flavor added on. Oh. My kids are loud. I don't know if you can hear. It's just my son. He's singing away. Um, so, yeah. So, I went through the brick of salted caramel toffee. And this scent actually is in the new fall winter catalog. So, that's nice. All right. So, now we've... Oh, hang on. I'm being beckoned. Just one moment, please. Hi, guys. So, sorry about that. 
obviously it was nothing <laughs> important as usual. But anyways, back to uh, the bring back my bar bars. <clears throat> so sorry. So there are a total of three that I didn't manage. Two I didn't even melt yet. And then one, I've got three cubes left. So I'll start with those first just because I haven't really gotten to them yet. Uh, the first one that I... I have here is Palo Santo. This used to be in the catalog fall winter. I never tried it. Uh, um, the description, I don't have the descriptions here, but this smells like a, like a burnt wood kind of. Yeah, almost like a burning wood. I don't know. If you like that campfire one, the with the smoldering campfire scent there, I feel like you'd like this one too. I've got three cubes left, as you can see. Not a huge fan of it. It's not terrible, but it's fine. Um, I had this going in my basement and I only put a couple cubes around the uh, main floor. <laughs> and I got comments. Uh, my kids were, what is that? Like they really did not like this one. So I have three cubes left and I'm planning on melting them in my basement. So this definitely didn't go in my club. But yeah, I got three cubes left of Palo Santo. So I technically didn't empty it, but you know, three cubes left. Now, the two that I didn't touch yet is Fresh Cut Daisies, which is a nice white wax. And this one smells, yeah, straight up daisies. So, I'm like I said, I'm not a huge floral fan. So, um, that's probably why it's, you know, not touched yet. It's one of the last ones that I've gotten to. But it smells very strongly of floral. I think if you like florals, you'll like that. And if you don't like florals, then you probably won't like that. Uh, next one is the Wild Black Cherry. I haven't gotten to this one yet, but I love the color of the wax. Yeah, and this smells like black cherry, which I'm, okay. Um, I think it's Dr. Pepper that has that cherry flavor. They're like cherry Cokes. I'm not a fan of those. The only thing cherry that I, I like, like cherry pie, um, cherry cheesecake, obviously. I like food, desserts. But um, I like, um, I don't like maraschino cherries. I like the, the big bing, I think it's called bing cherries with the pits in them. Those I really like. And I like some cherry desserts, but I'm kind of iffy when it comes to cherry, you know, certain, certain, you know, and I feel like this is a very strong, it's nice. It's not off-putting for me. It's not my favorite cherry scent, if that makes sense. Like if you have uh, apple tree strudel, that, mmm, I love. This is more of like, I guess, a black cherry which is fine but it makes me think of like dr pepper like i said or cherry coke or whatever but it's fine my kids like uh, the smell of cherry they've sniffed through all these and they they want me to melt this one so i think this is going to be the next one obviously that i go through but just because it's not my favorite cherry scent but it's still nice for me i know a lot of people love this one this has come back a lot for bring back my bars it's very popular i mean these are the top 25 for a reason right so I will be melting this one. I just haven't gotten to it yet. All right. So those are the three that, you know, I still have some. Now, the rest, I've all emptied. I've gotten through. So I'll just kind of go through them, give you my thoughts and what I thought. Okay. Okay. So first, first one that I really did not like, and I'm not one to, to say that too often. I'm always honest. Um, usually I'll say like, mm, yeah, it was fine. Like, mm, you know, it was like, um, you know, I didn't love it, but I liked it. It was fine. This one I did not like at all, and I was excited to melt it because it's got, it's one of the scent notes is chocolate, and I love chocolate, so I was really excited to melt this one, and it was, I want to say like, let's say one of the first five that I melted, it was in there somewhere, and yeah, I didn't like it. I had to mix it with, um, I think I mixed it with vanilla bean buttercream or sugar cookie, one of those just to really tone it down, but it's... um love story and no offense to people who love it this is just not for me yeah it's um i don't know like i i wouldn't smell and go Ooh, i smell chocolate but i feel like it's some kind of perfumey like this would be a body spray type smell but to me i just it wasn't one that i enjoyed um let me know what you think but this is just you know you not gonna like everyone right so it was just one that i had to mix to use up uh, one that I used to have in my club that I absolutely adore is Coffee Tree. And I really enjoy this scent. This is a, a coffee. Mm, this is a, a coffee scent. Really nice. I love coffee. If you don't know, I drink coffee every day and um, I really enjoy it, obviously. So 
there was, okay, there used to be, I, I don't know why, I, I always kind of lower my voice like, hey guys, here's a secret. But anyways, so Coffee Tree had come back in a Bring Back My Bar not that long ago, a couple years maybe. And I put in my club and then they had, uh, I think it was called Breakfast Blend. And it was in the catalog. Like I think it came out originally in a fall winter catalog. And then I kind of felt like I liked both and I had to decide between the two because I, I didn't, you know, I'm always trying to keep my Scentsy Club low, you know, because I just can't let it get out of control. I've got three kids. I've got, you know what I mean? I got bills. I got more important things to, to pay, right? So I chose between the two. I preferred breakfast blend. I actually had my husband put them on like different floors without telling me which one was which, you know, and I uh, had come home that day. So I was able to go through the one floor and then to the other floor and I picked which one I liked the best. And then he told me it was breakfast blend, although I loved both of them. But anyways, breakfast blend was discontinued and I ended up keep putting that one in my club and then taking it out I love coffee scents but I just don't feel like it's a necessity right now so I didn't put coffee tree in my club although I really really enjoyed it for the one you know bar but I really wish they would bring um some a new kind of coffee you know there's all kinds of coffee drinks out there nowadays that you know if you've uh been to Starbucks um I've seen like I don't know if this is like an odd or like you know but I've only been to Starbucks maybe a handful of times and it was never like for anything like ridiculous or not to be ridiculous but just anything kind of I want to say crazy like I usually just got a coffee hang on sorry I don't know if you can hear that my kids are screaming they're playing some kind of game and they're yelling they're very loud kids I I, I freely admit that I have three very loud kids and I um, openly joke that they only have outdoor voices. They don't understand indoor voices. I'm just, if it keeps getting loud, I'm going to have to pause the video and go down there and tell them to, to you know, keep it down a bit. You know, we do have neighbors. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my gosh. Okay. Starbucks. I've only been there. I went and got, um, this is how little I know about Starbucks. Just from what I've seen, you know, when you're, you're perusing Facebook and people post, uh, hey, I got this drink, you know, or whatever. But I've been there a handful of times, mostly just got coffee. I remember the first time I went, I was, uh, when they were like, yeah, cream sugar and everything's over there. And I remember being like, oh, okay, you know. And um, I went, I want to say like two years ago, it was before COVID anyways, with my brother. We were going to see a movie. There was a Starbucks nearby. And I was like, hey, uh, it's the start of fall. I really wanted some kind of fall uh, drink, um, every once in a while, I'll have like, um, whatever, I think, I think that what I got was a pumpkin latte, there was that, and there was a cardamom one, and I was debating between the two, and I, I went with, the, I think, the pumpkin spice, but anyways, my brother had, I don't think, ever been there, <laughs> and so he's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna get whatever, a frappuccino, so I thought he knew what he was ordering, I knew that was a cold drink, he didn't. He thought it was a hot drink. So when she called his name and gave it to him and he was just kind of stunned looking at it. So I was like, what, what's wrong? And he's like, oh, I thought this was a hot drink, like a hot coffee of some sort. So he's like, eh, whatever, I'll, I'll give it a try. <laughs> and I remember we, we left Starbucks. We started walking in the parking lot to head towards the movie theater. And I was sipping on mine. I really enjoyed it. I watched him. He literally took a sip and went, and then he just spit it right out and he was like, I don't like that at all. And I think it was like the cold coffee aspect of it. I'm not sure if he drinks iced coffees in that, but when it comes to, sorry, I realize I'm on a tangent here, like a little side story. But when it comes to coffees, like my husband, he'll drink hot coffee, but he also drinks iced coffee. And I know personally me, I, I love my hot coffee, but when it gets cold and I take a sip of it, I'm always like, ugh, you know, um, so I really didn't think I'd like iced coffee, but I decided to give it a try and we were somewhere. I don't know if we were headed to my parents' camp or whatnot, but my husband got his iced coffee. I said, give me a sip. Oh, mm, hang on. They're screaming. One second. So sorry. Oh, okay. Such is the life of, uh, you know, family, three kids. They were arguing over something and they both wanted the same thing and I had to go sort it out. Anyways. Real quick, I swear, iced coffee. We were driving somewhere, me and my, camp, my parents' camp or something, and my husband got his iced coffee. And he's like, here, just take a sip and try it. Like, you know, you might like it. So I was like, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I was in the vehicle, and I just, I remember, I took a sip, and I, 
I didn't want to swallow it. It was just cold coffee. That's exactly what it is. And I was literally like, mm, mm, mm. I was like exactly what my brother was doing when he had that Frappuccino or whatever from Starbucks. It just, I was like, I remember thinking like, I don't want to swallow this. I don't want to swallow this, but we were in a vehicle driving somewhere. So I'm just like, mm, and I had to swallow it. And I just, no, never again. Sorry. I can't do that cold brew and that iced coffee, which is interesting because it's like hot summer. I'm still drinking hot coffee, but I, I can't do it otherwise. It's just, I don't know, that's just me. Let me know if you're the same. Let me know if you like, like iced coffee. I know it's really popular. It seems like almost everyone loves it, but me maybe. <laughs> but anyways, back to the bring back my bar. So one that I feel like a lot of people have tried before. It used to be in like the kids line that says he had, which is Rockin' Ruby Raz, which is a sweet like candy raspberry scent. It was for kids very very strong it's just like if you like fruit punch scents uh, candy scents sweet scents you'd love this for sure uh it's come back quite a bit i remember this came back in like the um the easter like it was a limited release i think it was a three pack of bars not this past easter but maybe the year before anyways that was there so you know there's a reason why it's um in the top 25 i guess okay this one used to be popular. It was in the catalog forever and ever. And then all of a sudden it just wasn't. It's sweet pea and vanilla. And I remember knowing somebody that I used to work with and she would always buy that bar, only that bar. And then I remember because she would, um, at the time we didn't have um, a bath and body works in our like little town. And um, someone would go like, you know, um, shopping at like uh, in Toronto. And that's about a five hour drive from where we live. And if they were headed out that way, you know, she'd always be like, oh, can you stop in at Bath and Body Works? And it was always the sweet pea and vanilla. She wanted the creams, the sprays, all that stuff. So when I see this, it makes me think of her. And it's a very nice, it's like uh, a sweet, like there's, sweet pea is a flower, but it's just a very light, no, sorry. It's a very strong wax. The scent is strong, but it's like a, the, the 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 flowery smell is more sweet and it's subdued by the vanilla so it's really nice um this was really popular i was surprised they took it out like i said it just seemed like a, a staple like you know how black raspberry vanilla is a staple uh, blueberry cheesecake i figured that would just kind of be there forever uh ocean used to be in the catalog and i remember it was available in the laundry line and this one was really nice i'm not too uh big on the the aquatic sense but this one really really nice um it's i've seen it in the um clearance section the laundry line before now this makes me want to get it next time i see it so maybe i will so i'm glad i finally got to try ocean in the wax um another one french kiss I like the name of it uh, i remember this one this was very nice this is very <sighs> i feel like it was just something that you could have in your house and it's just one of those scents that people like, you know, if they come to your house and you have this kind of going on in the background, it's not offensive. I feel like most people will like it. It's just, it wasn't like super strong in your face, blow you out of the room, but it wasn't so light that you couldn't smell it. It was just one of those really nice scents that you could kind of have. I feel like in any room of the house, I'd be happy with this kind of going on in every room in the house and just having this going on. It's just one of those scents I feel like just kind of goes anywhere and everywhere uh french kiss i was uh impressed by this one um another one that i had never tried before but i'd heard about it and i remember throwing a couple votes its way is mulberry bush i was really uh interested in this one i was excited to try it and i didn't end up loving it i didn't not like it but i didn't love it it wasn't quite what i thought it was going to be this was more uh i don't know what like mulberry <laughs> mulberry smell like or anything but um made me think kind of cranberry like it just wasn't anything new maybe is what i'm thinking like something like wow different i feel like this could come out in the like holidays with all like the cranberry scents for christmas and stuff and i feel like this would kind of go along with it so it wasn't quite what i thought it was going to be but i still enjoyed it like i said i didn't love it but i liked it so that was mulberry bush um oh Honeymoon Hideaway. This used to be in the catalog. It was like a staple. They had it in the laundry line. I think they had it in quite a bit of, you know, products. 
and it's got kiwi in it. I can't remember what else. It's a very lovely scent. However, to me, you can't smell it. Uh, and I think that was the complaint back in the day when it was in the catalog. And that's why I'd never tried it. Honeymoon Heidi, I was excited to try it. I was hoping that it wasn't what I thought it was, meaning you can't smell it. It was so light that I had it going and knock all the warmers on my main floor. And I remember coming down like, you know, I put it in the morning around lunchtime or so. I came down to see if the kids wanted some lunch. And I remember being like, oh, I forgot to turn on my warmers today. And then looking around and realized, no, no, they're on. And they were all melted, but I couldn't smell nothing. So let me know if the same thing happened to you. Honeymoon Hideaway, I'm so sorry. You need to be stronger because if you were stronger and I could smell you, I would love you. I know it. It's, it's good scent. Great scent. Just can't smell it. But let me know if you could smell it because I, everyone says, oh, maybe I got a bad bar, but I, I don't think so. I, I remember this being a popular complaint about it. So let me know. Uh, this one, Spring Forward. This came out as a, a release. Uh, Spring Forward. I believe it was like a limited edition limited edition there was like a collection of um bars that came out and this was one of them spring forward I'm trying to think there was that one that i tried not long ago i just can't remember the name but it was part of the same collection yeah this is really nice this is like um a floral that i like it's sweet it's nice it's not too in your face so if you're not a big floral lover you might like this one Spring Forward, I don't have too many thoughts on it. Like, it was really nice. It wasn't stand out. Like, um, oh, what's that one? It was from a Mother's Day collection, Picked For You. That one, I just, oh, that, I love that one. And this one, you know, it was good, but it wasn't like that level of good for me anyways. So I've still got a bunch of those ones. So I was okay without, you know, putting the Spring Forward. So far, I haven't put, okay, I'll let you know in advance. I didn't put any of these in my club. Just so you know, just like a little surprise. Um, out of all of these, I didn't I didn't fall in love with any of them. They didn't weren't any of them weren't must-haves for me. There was one that I really liked and I considered putting it in, and then I didn't. But I'll let you know which one that is. But I, I didn't end up putting any in my club. Let me know if you did and which ones you put in your club because you know everyone's different, right? Everyone has different tastes. But I still have quite a few here, so hope you're hope you're comfortable. <laughs> Jet Set Go. I remember hearing about this before and to me, I was expecting aqua. Aquatic Jet Set Go makes me think vacation. I was thinking some kind of watery aquatic scent and it was not. This was more of um, like, a, I feel like island fruit. I'm trying to think here. It makes me think island. I don't have the notes in front of me, unfortunately, but this was really nice. I really enjoyed it, but again, I didn't love it. And I think I might've liked it a little more than Ocean because I remember putting this all over and then being like, okay, I'm keeping the rest of these cubes to put them all over my main floor again. Because when I like a scent, I like to put it mainly on my main floor. So that way, that's where I kind of am most of the day. So, but yeah, Jet Set Go, I was really impressed with this one. I liked it. I'm just not sure of the notes. Uh, Summer Soleil, I've heard of this one before. I really, um, I was looking forward to trying it. This was soft. Very nice scent. Very lovely. But I remember it being kind of on the softer side. I just wish it was stronger. But it was really nice. It was one of those soft... I'm not sure if there was a floral in there. But it was one of those soft, sweet scents that could kind of, I feel like, go anywhere. Upstairs, downstairs, bedrooms, you know, that kind of thing. But it just, to me, like, I like my scents to be strong. And it wasn't strong enough. But that's just, like I said, my opinion. All right. We had two watermelon scents, I believe. It was just the two watermelon scents. Oh, one second. All right. Almost dropped it again. So we had watermelon patch and watermelon mint. Okay. So watermelon mint was a pink wax. I'm trying to think here. You really couldn't get, well, I couldn't smell the mint, but I felt like it was kind of a candy watermelon, whereas watermelon patch. I don't know. I feel like this was kind of like the, the candy. You know, those candy watermelon slices with the sugar on them there. They're really sweet. I really like those. This kind of reminded me of that. And watermelon mint was stronger with, I guess it's that mint that's given it that twist to it, right? Where it's kind of like... um. You know how there's like, I feel like there's like two different kind of candy watermelon. There's like those 
watermelon sliced candies. And then there's like the Jolly Rancher watermelon kind of uh, taste. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about here. But I feel like between the two, I really enjoyed watermelon patch. But again, it wasn't enough. I wasn't in love with it. It wasn't a must have. But between the two, I feel like I would definitely pick this one or this one. This was all right. Whereas this one was like really good. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Like I said, whenever I see something with the mint in the title and it feels like it doesn't quite go together, it just kind of, I, I'm always a little uh, hesitant to try it. This one here, White Teen Cactus, used to be in the catalog. They used to have it in the cleaning line. And I know a lot of people love it. I was fine with it, but there was something in here that like my family just didn't enjoy. When it was melting, they just kept going like, what is that? There was just something they felt like was off with the scent. And I'm not sure what exactly it is that sticks out in here. To me, it was fine. I could see why people would enjoy it in the cleaning line, but there was something that my kids especially just didn't like about it. There was like, it was like one scent note in there that just kind of turned it for them. Uh, another one I have here is uh, Oodles of Orange. Um, this used to be, again, in the, uh, I was going to say candy line, <laughs> in the kids line. Um, and I've tried this one, Oodles of Orange. Um, I feel like it's comparable to Sunkissed Citrus. However, Sunkissed Citrus is a combination of orange and I think like, I feel like lemon, lime, grapefruit, something like that. Whereas Oodles of Orange is like orange with other fruits mixed in. And between the two combinations, the two citrus combination scents, I prefer Sunkissed Citrus a lot more. So much so that I got a brick of it. But this one's all right. It's fine. I could see why, you know, it was in the kids' line. I could see why it was, you know, part of the catalog at the time. But if I were to choose between the two, I feel like I much prefer Sunkissed Citrus. But that, you know, just me. But yeah, I'm trying to think what fruits are mixed with the orange in this one. But it's different fruits. I don't know if it's papaya. Passion fruit. I don't know. Something like that. But anyways, oodles of orange. It's nice. But I mean, when I have something like... Sunkissed citrus, I feel like they're very comparable and, you know, I tend to just pick one, like the, the coffee scents, right, between coffee tree and breakfast blend or watermelon patch and watermelon mint. I kind of, you know, I, I kind of compare. It's like when we were looking at houses, uh, the house we ended up purchasing was the first house we looked at. We fell in love with it. It was um, like amazing for us, price point, everything. The yard was, it's like, it's two properties basically. So we have like a big yard and we're right by the bush and it, it's just, it's, we love where we live, but we ended up looking at a total of like, I think it was 16 houses total when we went looking. So because we like this one so much, every house we looked at afterwards, we would compare it to this one, the price, you know, the area, the size of the yard, because we have three kids and you know, what was included. And I felt like we both felt like nothing just compared to this one. So we were always, you know, comparing it. So that's what I do with like, Oodles and Orange and Sun Kiss Citrus. I recently got the uh, brick in my club. Like, I, you know, I don't need both. But that's, that's my way of, you know, making it make sense, right? <laughs> that's how I do it. Uh, this one here, My Wish, I've tried it before. I remember it came in the clearance section. I bought a bar or two. It had fig in it and something else. Marshmallow. It just it sounded really yummy. And it's different. Um... If I were to smell this, I wouldn't go, ooh, fig. But I've had figs before. I remember being in like grade school and like the teacher bringing in actual figs for us to try. And I, you know, I enjoy those fig Newton cookies. Those are fine. Um, but I feel like this is the marshmallow makes it creamy. And like I said, I wouldn't guess fig off the bat, but that's a, I want to say like a distinct scent to it. But it's really nice. I find it's very mellow, soft, uh, like a creamy scent. But if you like, the fig in it, then you're going to like this. But I know my husband smelled it and went, ooh, like, you know, ooh. Uh, but I, I enjoyed it. So my wish. Really good. Purple wax. Let me know what you think, because I feel like there's some sense that people are either going to love it or hate it. You know, it's either going to, it just has like a distinct scent that people either like or don't like, you know. Um, oh, blue hyacinth. This was a, a pure floral, but I remember when I first sniffed it, it just very soft floral and if I'm going to do floral I prefer soft not you know in your face yeah this was a nice soft floral I really enjoyed it I put it around my house I remember it was a really really nice hot day I had the windows open we were doing stuff out in the yard so I had that going and just smelled like we have flowers and stuff on the side of our house and in the front of our house so it just it 
like, you know, those, we don't have blue hyacinth, but it just smells like, you know, your garden flowers are, you know, wafting up into your house and that's what it smells like. So it was kind of a nice, you know, it was a nice scent. Um, this one here, strawberry swirl. I remember this one. I remember it was a scent of the month. I want to go as far as saying like February, it was the month of it was February. Could be wrong, but it was, it was at the beginning of the year and I'm going to say February. I'm not going to say, I don't know what year. Wait. I'm going to guess 2015. Wait. My daughter was born in 2015. My son was born in 2016. <laughs> yeah, 2016. So I'm going to say it's like 2015. February. I'm, I'm going to look this up. This is bugging me because I just, I remember getting the the room spray. My sister-in-law had bought like the, the scent of the month kit. She was a scent consultant. I was not. And I remember sniffing a bar and being like, Ooh, I need a room spray for my house. Can I get it in this smell? And she was like, yep. And I remember it was my first room spray I ever bought from Scentsy and they last forever. If you look there, I've got most of my collection there. Let me know if you want me to go through them, but I've got most of my collection there. I've also got a lot of Bath and Body Works you know, body sprays behind it. And I have a few more around the house. Um, and I think maybe one in my purse, but yeah, let me know if you want me to go through this. I can let you know, but yeah, so I got in a room spray. So I'm, my guess is 2015 February. Anyways, strawberry swirl. I liked it. A lot of people say it smells like a creamy strawberry ice cream, which I agree. Um, candy crave was also in that kid's line. I have it. Did I use it up? Yeah. The uh, body wash. I bought in the body wash. The only thing that it's available in the catalog is in the body wash, which I find is weird because it's a great scent, but I also felt that this one was very light. So if they were to like give it some volume, pump it up a little, make it stronger, I feel like this would be super popular. And I would like to see this in a body spray, to be honest. As you can see, I like body sprays. I'm trying to think. I have a couple perfumes too. I don't have a ton of perfume. Um, Lucky in Love. This one is compared to that Victoria's Secret scent. There's also one in, is it Magic Spell? Because there's also a, a wax from Walmart. Sensationals, I believe is the brand. And it smells like this too. Lucky in Love. It's a fruity scent. I never like did the whole Victoria's Secret thing. I don't think I've ever bought anything from Victoria's Secret. But there's not one in my, my town. Obviously, I'd have to, you know, travel to Toronto or whatever. But anyways, that's that. That's Lucky in Love. It's fruity. It's sweet. If you like the Victoria's Secret scent or the one from Walmart, you'll like that. If you like fruity. Now, Kahiko Hula. This one is really nice. This one is fruity. I don't know if it's like papaya. I feel like it's almost like tropical, like mango, something. It was just really nice. I loved it. And the last one, this is the one that I considered putting in my club. Lemon Thyme Berry. I really enjoyed this. I remember buying a couple bars when it was in the catalog. Loved it. It was really good. Yeah, very sweet, fruity. There's things like lemonade with berry. I don't smell like the thyme, or maybe I do and I just don't notice it. But yeah, so this has been a long video. I know people have been asking for long videos and we all know I can talk a lot. So I know I'm behind on the whole bring back my bar by like a month, but um, I just figured I'd go through it anyways. I mean, I melted it all. I saved all the, the, the packaging and I, I like I said, I, had, I always have thoughts. <laughs> I always have thoughts. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope everyone's doing well wherever you are. And I'll catch one, uh, hmm, catch you guys in the next one. Bye.